first myth came via a request, and it's the question of the source of the phrase life in the fast lane as used in the title of the song by the Eagles. Written back in 1976, the story claims that Glenn Fry actually came up with the phrase in that form after he heard his drug dealer using it. This claim is 100% true, and Fry has spoken about it many, many times over the years. Basically, one day he was riding along with his drug dealer on the freeway somewhere, and when Fry asked him to slow down, he said, what are you talking about? This is life in the fast lane. Honestly, it's that simple. This one is totally true. The second myth I want to address today is one that I actually overheard in public a few weeks ago. And as frustrating as it is, I have to set the record straight on this one. There's this long-standing myth that's been applied over the years to a number of different musicians, mostly Prince and Marilyn Manson. And the story claims that they had ribs surgically removed so that they could perform fellatio on themselves. This myth actually dates back to the 1970s and people were saying it about different movie stars and TV stars at the time. And the fact that people still believe this sort of insanity is completely beyond me. Seriously, this one is totally untrue. It doesn't really even make sense. Our final myth today is a bit of an odd one, and it's the claim that Dolly Parton once entered into a drag queen lookalike contest and lost to herself. Though it may be hard to believe, this story is actually completely true. She entered a drag queen lookalike contest, obviously saying she looked like herself, and she said in the contest there were a number of other drag queens dressed up as her and a lot dressed up as Cher. She went on to say that when she presented herself on stage to the judges to be judged, she actually got the smallest round of applause of the evening. And yes, she lost the contest that evening to another drag queen dressed as, you guessed it, Dolly Parton. So those are the myths for this week. Be sure to check back here every Friday as I delve into some of the coolest stories in music history, and I'll see you guys again next time. Hey!